welcome back to Cooking at Pam's Place. I'm Chef Pam and we're getting ready to make crispy corn fritters. Oh my goodness, they are absolutely amazing. And if you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes, easy, simple, made from scratch, take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell so you'll always get my videos every time I upload one. And then just keep hanging around because I have a whole channel full of recipes that'll get you there. Let's get busy. We are back and for this recipe, I absolutely love using Jiffy Mix. It's just sweet and it's going to pair with this hot jalapeno pepper and it's going to be amazing. Now this is some leftover corn. I have an ear of corn here, but I don't need to actually cook it because I had corn the other day. So I just took this off of the uh, cob and that's what we're using. You can use frozen corn, you can use canned corn, but keep in mind if you use frozen corn, it is meant to be cooked a little bit before uh, putting in this recipe at least because it doesn't take very long to actually fry the fritters. So you want to make sure you cook it at least for a few minutes, steam it or something first before you do that. Uh, okay, if you're using canned corn, you want to make sure you get the sweet, not the cream. Uh, for this particular recipe and we'll need the things we need for our Jiffy Mix which is our egg and our milk. Okay, I think that's it. Let's go ahead and get these crispy corn fritters made. So the first thing we're going to do is cut up our jalapeno pepper. Now, uh, I'm going to dice it up to put in here but I'm going to take some of the seeds out but not all of the seeds because I like it pretty hot personally. Okay, so I'm going to get the skillet out and get ready so that we can go ahead and make the batter and then fry them out. So I'll be right back. So the first thing we're going to do is get our batter made. Now, whenever I'm using Jiffy Mix, I always like to go in before I put anything else in there, the milk, the egg, or anything, and run my whisk through it. Because when it comes out of that box, it has a lot of lumps in it. Now feel free to make your own sweet cornbread. I just really happen to like Jiffy Mix for this particular recipe. I'm gonna go ahead and get our egg in there. Again, I don't crack my egg directly into my dish just in case I get a bad one. And let me see here. We might have us a bad egg. Let me see, look at that guys. See, I don't want that in my, I don't want that in my um, dish. And this is why I crack it in a separate bowl. See if you can see that. So we're going to discard this egg, get another one, and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's check out this egg. There we go. Much better, much better, much better. Nice egg, okay that in there and our milk. Just make your Jiffy Mix, if you're using Jiffy Mix, according to the directions on the package. Go ahead and whisk that together really well. Then go ahead and put your corn in. And your jalapenos. Now if you don't like the peppers or the jalapenos, you don't have to use it, but if you want that little green in there, you can put some green peppers in there, or you can put some scallions in there, some cilantro, anything like that to also keep it with that same color profile. And you'll have a good flavor with those as well. Okay, now that this is mixed really well, we want to set this aside, get our skillet heated up. Now you want your oil to be at probably right at 350 degrees. If it is not hot enough, then your fritters won't fry crispy. So you need to make sure it's hot enough. And you don't need a ton of oil. We're not deep frying them, but you want about maybe quarter of an inch of oil in your skillet. 
So we're going to let this heat up and we'll be back. Okay, so our oil should be good and hot. You need to use about a fourth of a cup for each one so they can come out as close to the same size as possible. And you just want to drop this down, not drop it, <laughs> put this down in your hot oil. Don't crouch your skillet, work in batches. We're going to let these cook for about three or four minutes on one side and we'll be back. Okay, let's go ahead and turn these over. Ooh, nice and golden brown. Delicious. These are looking amazing. Ooh, yes. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, we are all done. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me today in my kitchen. Oh my goodness. I really do appreciate each and every one. Ooh, almost dropped it. Ooh, and it's hot. <clears throat> okay, guys, we are all done. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today in my kitchen. I really do appreciate each and every one of you all. Oh, my goodness. You can garnish them like I'm doing now, just putting a little parsley on top. You can also stack them up like pancakes. Put a little butter and syrup on top. Mmm, mmm. And I will see you next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise.